At the halfway mark in the tournament, things are getting heated up in both the groups. So let's dive straight into it. It's time for South Africa versus Scotland. One thing South Africa will bear in mind after their loss to England in Sharjah, the oldest thing in the book catches with new matches. Yeah, obviously the, the drop chances are crucial. I think in these competitions, the best fielding side obviously has a, a great chance of making it very far. And it's definitely something that we'll have to look at. I'm uh, pretty sure two wins puts us in a good position. Um, so all focus will just be on the next game. And that's the sign of a good captain. And her team cannot stop singing her praises. It's lovely to have Moki as leader. She's not really someone who, who gives in under pressure. Being her first World Cup as well, I know it must be nerve-wracking. In the next couple of years, she'll truly find her feet and become the leader she wants to be. Firsts are always special and Scotland have a ton of positives from their game so far to bring into this one. We've put the other teams under pressure and, and kind of played our game how we want to. Yeah, the, the bowling's been good and obviously we've been throwing ourselves around in the field as well. So, um, and, and the batting, I think we've shown glimpse, glimpses of what we can do. So I think if we can just do that for a slightly longer, we'll be, we'll be in good stead. And don't forget to download the T20 World Cup app where the action is much better than my juggling. <laughs>